Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be fixing this build is so much better than Bleed. Elden Ring OP builds current patch 1.09 by Dom Trump Table. Now this build is the first build where I tested and I've actually had fun with it. So I think it's going to be an interesting one. This build was tested on New Game Plus 4, so Journey 5, just as the original build was. This build has an insane amount of strengths that can be boiled down to three main components. I am of course talking about the Flame of the Red Mains. Yes, the poise damage of this weapon art was nerfed into the ground during patch 1.08. Flame of the Red Mains is going to be worse than the Flaming Strike Astro War. That's because Flame of the Red Mains might do a little bit more damage, but it's going to be slower and you aren't going to have that follow up. The Flaming Strike bullet is going to have the same poise damage. That is the Executioner's Great Axe. The reason we've chosen a Great Axe for this build is because it's the weapon class that got the most buffs in the most recent patch. It is the only weapon type that received three buffs. The buffs being attribute scaling has been increased for great axes. The speed, range, and recovery time for some attacks has also been increased, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. And finally, the speed of guard counters has been increased. Problem with using Executioner's Great Axe is it's going to do less damage, less poise damage than the Brick Hammer. It's also going to have less scaling, which means that the Flaming Strike and Flame of the Red Mains are going to do less damage. The guard counter is faster, as Great Hammer's guard counter was not buffed this patch. Is the utilization of Pest Threads for massive bosses you see my stats here at level 150 but please note i started this character as the bandit so this is actually very inefficient i suggest you start as either the confessor or the hero to get the most out of your stats either one is great as they both waste very few stat points you need an absolute minimum of 34 strength and 8 dexterity and then ideally with the few extra stat points that you will have that i don't have i would advise pumping main problem with his build is he doesn't have 60 vigor he has wasted points in mind he is at a strength soft cap then he has 50 two points in faith the soft cat's 50 for infusions my improvements on this build i have 60 vigor i have 17 mind i have 22 endurance that's the most i need for medium roll i have 80 strength that's going to give me the most damage for flaming strike and the brick hammer then i have 25 faith for claw mark seal scaling as well as golden vial flame grant me strength and pest threads for armor i have optimal armor for 51 poise which is the pve poise breakpoint crimson amber medallion earth tree's favor curve sword talisman curve sword talisman is going to give me more guard counter damage i have Don's great rune for more fp and stamina i have opaline hard tier for more damage negation and then i have flame shrouding craft tier for more fire damage Well, it's definitely not better than a good bleed build. It is a fun build and it is quite good. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.